Milo's Funeral, Banana Peels, and a Michael Jackson MMO. I'm Dan Resler, it's the 24th of September, and this is Gamer Update. So to start things off, the free-to-play game Clone Wars Adventures has hit 1 million players this week, which is a little surprising considering I've never even heard of the game until this week, and I'm usually pretty in the loop about these things. Anyway, to celebrate, they're throwing a massive party in the game. Also, if you're one of the people who pays the $6 a month to be a premium user, you get into an even more exclusive party. You don't need to be mingling with those commoners. You get a party all to yourself. Like I always say, the less people at a party, the more fun it is. That's why I always have parties by myself. Woo! Now, I don't want to overhype this next story, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. Some might say you're going to go bananas. If you pre-order Donkey Kong Country, you get this awesome little banana peel coat thing for your Wiimote, which is totally awesome. I think you're going to find this offer very appealing. Get it? Appealing. <laughs> So a little bit of sad news, singing sensation and pop icon Milo of Connect fame has been shot dead in his home at 4.30 this afternoon. It came as a shock to all of us and I sincerely put my heart, okay, I can't keep doing this. Milo, you know the tech demo for Connect? Yeah, turns out it's no longer happening, but a lot of the technology behind it is going into Fable 3 now. So Connect is Fable 3. So apparently you'll be able to play with adolescent children in Fable 3. Sounds like fun. An extended version of the iPhone game Shift, it will be coming out for both the PS3 and PSP as a PSN Mini sometime very soon, and it's going to be redubbed, this time Shift Extended. Very clever titling, I like that. So the guys making the Shadow of Colossus movie have said that they will go on to make an Ico and a Last Guardian movie if the Shadow of Colossus movie is successful enough. So if it's down to us, we need to make this movie successful. Don't fail on me. So since Bungie is no longer making the Halo games, the rights to the brand go to Microsoft, and in a recent interview with one of Microsoft Microsoft's big boys stated that one Halo game every three years is no longer going to be enough, which likely means that they're going to have more than one developer making Halo games and largely falling into the Call of Duty trap, where you have one kind of okay one and then one really bad one, then one kind of okay one, then one really bad one, and it just alternates. Really not looking forward to that. Please, Microsoft, just find one good company to carry Halo onto the future. So there's a new dev diary out for Fallout New Vegas showing off a lot of the tech and guns in the game. There's a link in the doobly-doo. So Bonafide game developer and spaceman Richard Garriott claims to be working on a AAA title for social networks. That means Facebook. He's gonna make a AAA game, that means good game, for Facebook. Pretty sure those are contradictory terms there, Garriott. But anyway, that's what he says, so we'll keep an eye out for it. You never can get enough Command & Conquer 3, which is why it's lucky for you and me that a massive fan-made expansion called Command & Conquer The Forgotten has recently come out, complete with fan-made live-action cutscenes that are amazing and also kind of cheesy, but still awesome. Here, watch one. To those ready to dream once more, join us. We will be waiting. All hell is about to break loose. I know, right? It's awesome! Anyway, the story is apparently based off of a group of soldiers who were lost in a Tiberian sun firestorm, whatever that means. Anyway, the game has been in development for two years, and might I say, is looking proper hardcore. Scoop! Check this out. Heck yes, that is a Captain Smiley Xbox 360 Slim, and it is awesome. All you have to do to win it is go to joystick.com and say who you would invite to your video game feast by 9 o'clock Friday. I said I would invite Gordon Freeman because I really enjoy talking to myself. There are so many layers to that joke. I am a genius! Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to say this to you, but... I didn't really use my thinker box when I was writing that story, and uh, that contest expired like 45 minutes ago, so... Yeah. Sorry! 38 Studios, and I don't mean 38 different studios, I mean a studio called 38 Studios, has moved to Providence, Rhode Island because the Rhode Island state government has offered them $75 million to move to the city. This is in the hope that the studio will bring jobs to the state, and also is part of an ongoing effort to make Providence the video game capital of the world. They're in for some tough competition because right now the self-proclaimed video game capital of the world is Ottawa, Iowa, home of one of many video game Hall of Fames. By the way, one of the many backers of the Ottawa Hall of Fame is Billy Mitchell, who holds many gaming records. By the way, Billy Mitchell, you are still a total asshole. Don't censor me. Don't censor. I just punched myself in the face. Billy Mitchell was known for a long time for having the world record high score in Donkey Kong. Will no more. He was beaten out by his longtime rival, Steve Wiebe. Woo! Go Team Steve! 38 Studios, Gaming Capital, Autumn Billy Mitchell, Hall of Fame, Punch in Face, Censorship, C 
cursing and Steve Weeby. That is nine tangents in one story. New record! So Inroad is probably the coolest thing to be offered on PlayStation Plus so far. Several PlayStation Plus members will be receiving messages saying they've been invited to the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood beta, which is totally awesome. But if you don't get an invite, don't fret. There's always 20% off wakeboarding HD game and dynamic theme bundle. Eh? All right, never mind. So it turns out there's going to be a Michael Jackson MMO called Planet Michael, and I really wish I was making this up, but you don't fight enemies because Michael Jackson was a pacifist, you just subdue them through the power of dance. I really couldn't come up with this if I tried. So I'm gonna show you what is probably the coolest thing you're going to watch within the next 15 minutes or so, so without any explanation, roll the clip. Pikachu's gonna die in those pits. Pikachu falls when Ivysaur comes out. Nice and simple. No. When was the last time you saw Oak? How about Misty? Be a shame if you never see him again. I can't just do nothing. You've got a choice, goddammit! I choose you. Yeah, that's what I always say. A stapler in the hand is better than three at Office Deep. Oh, hey, you're back. Hey. Yeah, what you just saw is a trailer for Pokemon Apocalypse. It's not an actual movie. It's just part of the trailer. If you want to see the full trailer, and yeah, let's be honest, you do. There's a link in the underbar. Okay, so as always, I'm going to leave you a link in the underbar for the newest BGN cast. I think you'll really enjoy it. But other than that, I will see you next week, Internet.